Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 17th, 2023. Well, last week we had an interesting week of just push, push, push to the upside as those bulls continue to march higher, climbing a wall of worry. What does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, we had an interesting week last week, and I'm going to start this video just a little bit differently than I have in the past. First off, let's take a look at the VIX. Now, while we continue to hear from institutions, oh, there is a recession. In fact, there's a new report out today. CFOs are the most bearish that they have been in a long, long time. And yet, there's no fear here in the market whatsoever. No fear at all. And the only explanation that I can come up with on this is while this is occurring and we continue to have the institutions warn the retail investors of a rough year, a terrible situation, a major economic downturn due to recession, they're buying in the dark pools. Um, our volume has been relatively light as you can see, some very light days last week of volume. Relatively light, but they apparently seem to be buying up in the dark pools, and it would seem that their um, CTA algorithms, that's their computers, are on the buy. And they're quietly trying to accumulate, even though they're continuing to warn investors of a terrible situation here in the coming year. Now, does that mean we should rush in and buy? Well, no, not necessarily. As a matter of fact, there is some considerable danger here um, when you look over these charts. First off, let's take a look at the diamonds. Diamonds being the strongest of the indexes, break, having broken out of that downtrend, we held it as that higher low and we're pushing on higher. But here, unfortunately, if we take a look in this chart, let's grab the, the Dow itself, just so I can measure the distance and the um, potential danger in this chart. Notice that although we broke this little downtrend, we have yet to make any proof that we are really going to hold a higher low. We've just been all pushed to the upside. And as you can see, what that means is, is if we were to chase into this um, market right now, we're chasing right in very near price resistance in the chart in that um, short-term price action. And if we pull this back, it, let's say we use this area here for price support, that's an 860 point pullback. So kind of a dangerous market condition to be rushing in despite the fact that um, we seem to see seem to be seeing this institutional push to the upside that there is just no downside in this market it still remains very very dangerous for the retail trader and the possibility with the data that we have coming this week and um, for the next several weeks is we could experience some huge um, intraday whipsaws as well as complete overnight reversal. So let's continue to take a look and uh, see if we can figure out how we might approach the market for today. Well, first off, you know, what we've been experiencing is we gap down, um, well, first the last couple of days, Thursday, we moved substantially lower early in the morning and then rallied back up, leaving behind a hanging man pattern. And the following day, gap substantially lower and then rallied all the way back up as the bulls continue to push in here on Friday. And once again, I'll point out that we did that on relatively light volume. So if we continue to see those bulls push through today, where will we go? Well, um, you'll notice that we are at some pretty significant price resistance levels here in the diamonds chart. But if we can push on through that, maybe we test these areas up here. Now, those are big point moves to the upside. 
if uh, and so we'll have to be kind of careful because again we're continuing to stretch this market um, to a rather dangerous position with the stop loss being so much lower now that doesn't mean that we can't keep doing that but if those bears were to find inspiration well then we can see that we could drop into this level pretty easily there's a lot of price support through this level right now in the Dow right through this area and if you take a look across over here my goodness there's all kinds of data um, suggesting that's going to be a relatively important level so with the potential of whipsaws that we see in this market with the big point moves you can um, kind of get a flavor of how much danger there may be in the Dow chart if things start to turn and if we take a look at our spy well unfortunately our spy isn't giving us a whole lot better of an opportunity you can see we're stretched up here we broke through that resistance in in that chart but we have made no attempt to show a support level except right back down here which adds that flavor of danger here in that chart. And unfortunately, here in the SPY, we don't have the benefit of having broken that overall bear trend in the market. So if we were to push higher here in T20, or I mean in um, the SPY, well, I'm gonna be looking right up in this area here for that price resistance. And um, that will combine possibly with this bear downtrend and we could find some resistance right in there and the potential of selling. The question is going to be in any pullback, um, would that set up an opportunity long? And I think there is that possibility that it may set up any resting pullback in the market could set up an opportunity long here in the market because I think we have got those computer algorithms, that, those CTAs on the buy um, and that they're one of the reasons why fear is pushing back, even though retail has been moved. If you remember the report from last Monday, um, Goldman saying that um, the money market folks moving into money market funds to get safety, um, thinking about recession in this coming year. Um, that reached a level that was above the depths of the 2020 pandemic sell-off. So we've got a lot of retail setting on the sidelines and um, they're continuing to push for the buy side move here in the market. So kind of keep an eye on that. We've got this upside trend and this downside trend creating this bit of a wedge. And unfortunately, the, the price action between the highs and lows of that wedge are dramatic. So it could be a bit challenging and darn right dangerous for the retail trader. So be careful on how you plan and moving forward if we can push through this area then we we push up here and again huge point move to do that and we'll be running into substantial levels of price resistance in the overall chart here on SPY. If those bears were to take over, again, there really isn't a whole lot of support until we drop back into here in that chart. So um, look for that area here if those bears um, get engaged. And if they push on down through that, then we'll look for support down here. These are big point moves, so plan carefully plan your risk in these trades carefully because we can expect an awful lot of data pushing us around substantially over the next several weeks. If we take a look at our QQQ, well QQQ remains the weakest of the indexes here and although we made some nice technical improvements here um, last week, you'll notice that we remain in a bearish trend and we also remain underneath this price resistance here in the chart so if those bulls were able to push on through then we might see a little bit of a lift maybe we push up into a price level up into here and we challenge that downtrend here in the chart but you can certainly see that possibility that if we run into some of these resistance levels that date those data points we could quickly and sharply move lower here in the chart so um, right now if we can move on higher again we're perched right against that resistance I would say the next upside opportunity in that chart is moving us up a little bit further into some of these levels here in the QQQ and if those bears 
find inspiration, then of course we don't have a whole lot of quality support in here until we pull all the way back into that level now technically as you can see we've made some pretty nice improvements crossing through that 50 but you'll also want to notice that our 200 day still remains over the top and um, this would be exactly the place where we would expect that bearish challenge that pushes us back down below that 50 or perhaps we try to work to hold that 50 day moving average which sets up a potential bullish pattern so anything is possible here and i would expect some dramatic moves this week in price action if we take a look at our iwm iwm has been remarkably strong and it's been one of the notable things i think here in the market recently and if you take a look across here if i were to mark this bear trend here if i were to mark this bear trend here we're pushing right up into that bear trend and maybe have passed just slightly through it here um, in the uh, last couple of days of last week and you'll notice that we're also pushing into a pretty substantial price resistance level here in the IWM so once again we're at that situation where we could easily see that that resistance take over if we run into any kind of technical problems or bearish problems in the market you could see that potential where that could swing lower and unfortunately there's not a lot of price support under this until we drop substantially in price there's some price support right across there and even a bigger price support right across there for us to maybe catch um, that support level in the chart so um, once again we have that very substantial stretch here that's going on in the market which makes it a bit dangerous to chase it long and at the same time um, if we were to catch that bearish um, inspiration here we could move dramatically lower really fast and punish those folks that do chase in here at the you know at the resistance level of the chart so be very very careful i'm going to skip past the vix here this morning because we've already looked at it vix is extremely low and um it it doesn't seem to be matching the current uh, price of the market here at all um seeing the fear drop so much um, considering um, recession and inflation and all of the issues that we're dealing with here in the market but if we were to take a look at our t2122 we can see we're running into a little bit of a problem here our t2122 is extremely elevated we're up here at 98.82 percent at the close on friday that is an extreme level in t21 over oh, oh, uh, t2122 rarely do we see a um, the market um, able to maintain that level for very long so you'll want to be watching for that potential of that selling or a little bit of rest here in the market to pull us back um, at any potential time because that is a fairly extreme level here in the chart and there's never been a time if you look across here there's never been a time that that didn't create some kind of pullback in the market so watch carefully for that but with the data that we have coming out boy look for big moves and anything i think is possible as we continue to squeeze this to the upside um, here in the market and i think one of the reasons we're seeing volume so low is i think one of the reasons we're continuing to press and squeeze to the upside is just so many short traders being forced out of the market um, as we continue to push to the upside so watch that closely we have opened a very big opportunity to the downside and i think i showed you the danger that there really isn't a whole lot of price support under, underneath a lot of that uh, price action in the indexes so if we come down we could come down quick and fast and if we take a look at our t2108 t2108 very very strong as you can see we're pressing up here in t2108 now i've pointed this out last week that it's kind of a, a rare situation where we push beyond this level 
in here in the chart. What it's saying is that we're reaching a very extended condition here in the market. And you can see anytime we've poked our head clear up into these levels, well, the, the pullback is pretty sharp and usually relatively dramatic. So watch that closely. We're reaching kind of an overbought condition here in the charts with 73% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. It's kind of a rarefied area here. In fact, if I move this to a weekly chart, you can see that the predominance of evidence is right through here. It takes pretty extreme pushes to put us up above here. And we can still get there, but just notice how dramatic that uh, potentially could be um, in the market. And with our T2122 so extended, I kind of have to favor that resting pullback coming in the market. And if we um, look at our T2107, T2107 continues to extend to the upside. And once again, we're extending up. Notice all of this congestion through here in the chart. We're extending up into pretty rarefied air here um, in T2107. 55%, 54%, 55% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. And we're continuing to stretch. So watch that carefully if we take a look at our t2101 well t2101 continues to try and show us that upside momentum here in the market but it's doing it on very low volume so um, I'm not sure that we're getting the best of information in here. And once again, we're stretching up here into some very elevated areas in T2101. So just kind of keep that in mind. If the reversal comes, it could be swift and it could be hard. Let's take a look at some um, other things going on here in the market. First off, I want to bring your attention to Goldman Sachs. We have just received the numbers on Goldman Sachs and it looks like initial reaction here and Goldman is a bit lower. So watch that closely here this morning as some of these big guys continue to report and the expectation, I haven't looked at the numbers, but the expectation is Goldman would have um, re, um, revenue um, 14 to 15% less than last year. And yet, if you look at last year over here about the same time, um, we're pricing Goldman Sachs higher than it was a year ago on lower revenues. So kind of an interesting circumstance here in the market where we um, continue to press these stocks to the upside despite the fact they're not making as much money. If we take a look um, at um, our economic calendar for today, our economic calendar relatively light today, we do have an Empire State Manufacturing number coming out before the bell what we have seen in these manufacturing numbers is very, very poor numbers, um, recessionary numbers, and as a matter of fact, um, substantial declining number, numbers in our manufacturing, but it doesn't seem to matter. The market just wants to go up, so watch that closely. If there's an improvement there, that could provide a little bit of bullishness here for the market today. And then keep in mind, we've got some bond auctions, and then we've got William speaking here this afternoon and as you gear up for wednesday well it could be a real wild and woolly day with a ppi number coming out uh, before the bell and a retail sales number coming out before the bell anticipation is that our inflation numbers are declining and so everyone is hoping that that will continue to be the case here with the ppi but at the same time retail sales last time showed a very disappointing decline and may continue to show that. So we may have competing factors here first thing Wednesday morning. And then we're going to have industrial production, which has not been a bullish number at all. We'll wanna watch that. We've got Bullard speaking, business inventories, housing numbers are start going to start rolling in with the housing market index. We've got Beige Book and Treasury International Capital. And then we've got Logan speaking later on in the day. Um, for the rest of the week, housing, um, starts claims and Philly Fed 
Again, some opposing numbers in here that could be pretty dramatic in the price moves in Friday existing home sales. So we got a full meal deal of economic data coming out today. And when we look at our earnings calendar, well, we've got a busy time there as well um, with these numbers ramping up. They're going to get really insane next week. But um, as we ramp up, we have quite a few notables to be paying attention to. As I've already mentioned, Goldman is already reported today we're going to hear from um, uh, citizens financial this morning keep an eye on that FULT will be reporting today we've got um, IBKR um, on the list here um, uh, for a report this morning looks like it's trying to move a little higher here we've got Morgan Stanley that will uh, be reporting looks like they have already reported a little pop and drop going on in the pre-market watch all that price resistance up here in this chart on Morgan um, again we continue to see lowering revenues but we're pricing these stocks higher uh, interesting situation here in the market uh, PRGS um, will be reporting today we're going to hear from um, SBNY and we're also going to hear from United Airlines. This has been on a tear to the upside as these airlines just shoot up despite the economic conditions that we're seeing and despite the constriction that we're experiencing in the consumer here. Boy, airlines are on fire, so watch that carefully. We're pressing into some major resistance levels as we head into that earnings event. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please also do me that favor, click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. Do that. I truly appreciate it. And just a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel through Buy Me a Coffee. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And you'll find that link just below the title of the video. Let's take a look at a few few of these charts that could be setting up and I've got to be quick because I'm running out of time. We're seeing um, a lot of stocks coming up through bottoms. You can see here stock in TTWO trying to come up here, um, break above its 50 day moving average and notice that 50 day moving average is just ever so slightly starting to turn to the upside. We've got a lot of charts like this trying to bottom out and show some upside potential. So keep an eye on these. Um, stocks like um, uh, Generac. Here's another one coming up through that bottom little resting pattern in here. We're seeing a lot of these kind of stocks uh, making that push to the upside. Take a look at some retail stocks like UAA. Very strong. Needs a rest or pullback for a potential um, entry but very very strong in this chart and we may be filling this gap here um, over here on the left so watch that closely here um, interesting that we've got retail like this showing huge upside potential and then we've got Walmart showing us the potential of a failure at its 50 day moving average so a very big mix of things out there one of the real hot areas of the market is in the metal sector and although we got a little bit of a pullback here in, on Friday we need a little bit of rest in these charts as you can see um, very very bullish here in um, copper SCCO extremely bullish just a rocket shot to the upside here big resistance coming into the chart take a look at energy energy continuing to push back to the upside pushing into some resistance areas but if you take a look at some of the areas of refining take a look at Halliburton Halliburton is challenging some resistance here in the chart and may well soon break out we're seeing Valero uh, pushing back up towards some resistance so we're seeing those refiners really pushing to the upside Schlumberger um, breaking out as you can see here last week 
pushing up into another major level of resistance in the chart as we see some of those oil sector stocks moving up. You could even take a look at some of the oil exploration in here. Take a look at rig, just a rocket through um, this resistance in the chart, a rest or pullback would set up an opportunity there. Don't, um, don't take your eyes off of gold and silver. Um, these need a rest or pullback for a good clean entry into these, but we're continuing to see these zoom higher so um, watch that closely um, an interesting thing is we're also seeing crypto move up substantially as gold moves up so I don't know when something's gonna break here eventually but watch that closely in these precious metals so with that guys I'm running out of time you all have a fantastic day be kind of careful out there think carefully try not to over trade or get caught up in the fear of missing out with a so extended at this point in time just in case we happen to get that really fast um, reversal back to the downside but I would be on the watch for any kind of resting pullback that could set up buying opportunities in the market because it just seems like the institutions are really trying to push to the upside um, I don't know how long it lasts but let's ride the wave while we can y'all take care have a wonderful day and we'll see you right back here bright and early uh, I guess it'll be Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone.